Hey guys! Hello! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> <laughs> and today's episode is going to be really cool. We're going to be doing two techniques. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be doing a wrecked ring. Yep. Yeah. And I, I haven't finished playing with my balls. Yes, so he's going to be... Uh, <laughs> a marble pour. His marble pour. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is going to be really beautiful, I bet. We'll see. Yeah. I'm going to do something a little different on yeah. the base. So, mixing this one up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Yep, yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think we should just go ahead and jump right in and get to, uh, get to painting. Let's do it. We'll see you at the table. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, I have a canvas right here that is has already been used, but I'm going to repurpose this canvas and I'm going to pour over it today, um, just because you know it didn't work out very it didn't well. Didn't work out very well. <laughs> just because it wasn't so, that great. So um, this so was actually this from canvas. this was from the Gina Luca. Yeah, this was. This was from the Gina, Gina De Luca. De Luca. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm going to uh, pour over this this canvas today. I'm going to do a wrecked ring, mm -hmm. um, which I'm really excited about. I love doing these. Uh, if you've seen me in the past, you know that I do. Um, and the colors today that I'm using are this incredible Prussian blue. Uh, by Goldens. I threw away the tub by accident, <laughs> so I don't have the tub for you. <laughs> but um, I, we have this Artist Law Phalo Green, mm -hmm. which is yummy. We have this Pearl Sea Green, which I'm also in love with. Mm -hmm. We have the Pearl Gra Glacier Blue, which is amazing. I'm you do love, love your color. pearls. I do love my pearls. Mm -hmm. And then um, the Sterling Silver by Deco Arts Metallics. Awesome. And then I have, uh, of course, the Blick White for the uh, for my uh, flow extender. So let me go ahead and get to layering my cup for you. You're going to layer this cup differently. I am. I don't want a whole lot of, like, So, Jeremy yes. is in love with Arteza Pearl Paints. <laughs> However, <laughs> Arteza am. Pearl Paints tend not to have a really strong color once they're dried. And that's mainly because we do mix it fairly heavily with a pouring medium. Um, and so, um, when you use like a 50% flow troll, 25% paint, 25% gloss medium mix, the pearls just don't stretch as well as some of the other paints. So um, what Jeremy's doing is using the pearls as a way to isolate the darker colors, the phalo green and also that Prussian blue, which I actually think is phalo blue because it was the Liquitex Basics mm. Flalo Blue. I don't think it's Prussian Blue, because Prussian Blue is a little darker than that. Um, but even so, um, using those Arteza Pearls means that he's going to create, hopefully, some really wonderful lines in this when he brings it onto the canvas. Okay. I think that that should be enough paint for my canvas. Okay. So now I have this absolutely gorgeous layered cup. Um, I'm going to... Uh, put some white flow extender in the center um, as a puddle and then I'm going to do the extender around it. Okay, let's go ahead and start this rain pour. Lovely. Yay. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm going to put my flow extender around it and then I'm going to torch it. Mm. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have my comb here. I'm going to wreck my ring and then we'll go ahead and have some tilting. Now, style. before you do, it would be remiss of me not to mention that Mina Villegas, every I time know. I talk to her about I your know. wrecked rings, asked me to remind you not to do them in straight lines, but to do them in curvy lines yes. instead, because when you stretch, you'll get a better composition. Yes. yes so it yes, is yes. just a friendly reminder. Yes. So I think I'm going to go like this. I'm going to follow this this way, and then come back this way like this. No straight lines. Ah. Yes. Some kind of straight lines there. I'm going to kind of go like this. Another straight line. There you go. Well, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and tilt now. So it is tilt in time, ladies and Okay, you. let's do it. Okay guys, so I am absolutely in love with this. Stunning. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. How many times are you loving it? I'm loving it about Thrice. 100 times. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the colors in here. I love the composition, I love the lines. Um, King of the Wrecked Ring <laughs> is still on the throne. I, you know what, I'm just very happy about it. You spend it. a lot of time on the throne. throne. But there's a lot of cells going on in here, mm -hmm. a lot of cell action. That's the Deco Art yeah. Silver. Yeah, so. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my edges. I'm going to uh, torch it and we're gonna take you in for a close-up. Let's do it, please. Okay. Awesome. All right, wonderful people out there in YouTube land. So you just saw Jeremy do, as always, because he can do them all the time, because he's amazing, this really wonderful wrecked ring. I, in our previous episode, you saw me do a pour that was inspired by B.R. Turner art, and I haven't finished playing around with this yet, and probably won't for a few episodes. I'm going to do a pour using a marble to manipulate the colors around the canvas. But this time I've done a split color, black and white. And using exactly the same colors of Jeremy, other than the black clearly, which I've added, I'm gonna now do puddles 
onto the canvas and then use the marble to actually mix the paints before I stretch it out. So it's also going to be a wrecked pour but not a wrecked ring this time round. So using the same colours I'm just going to get to layering. Now I am going to layer white puddles in the black and black puddles in the white and then like I said I'm going to mix the two. Mm. But I'm going to speed you through this bit. So I'm going to get to this right now. All right, so there are my layered puddles. Next, I'm gonna take my marble. And as you saw in a previous experiment, it does kind of matter how big your balls are. Um, I've got a medium sized marble right here. I'm gonna use this one. And then we're gonna tilt this one out. So it is now, in fact, Jeremy. Tilting time. Indeed it is. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
All right, folks, there you have it. I really love this. Um, I'm, I'm going to definitely explore this technique using different colors. Um, everything that you see on the top isn't white, actually. It's either the silver or the pearls. Um, but what I really love is the fact that the black has got this like white streak next to it as the marble kind of rolled through the two colors um, and I love the real like tuxedo effect that you get of the black and white together um, yeah I really love this another pour that I really really enjoy um, so why don't I do this let me clean up my edges I did just torch it and then I'm going to take you in for a close-up thanks guys Okay guys, so there you have it. That's right. Um, we're so excited for this pour because it was so much fun. Um, they're all fun. They're all fun. Right. They really are. We enjoy ourselves so much doing we this. We do. Um, it's a little unfair actually, just quite how much we enjoy ourselves. <laughs> but it is, it's pretty amazing. It um, so let us show you the dried results. From the previous pour. From the previous So pour. we really wanted you to see the results of the first marbling pour that we ever did because yes. it was a real splendid oh, yeah. pour. Absolutely splendid. Absolutely splendid, in fact. <laughs> go on, Jeremy, you go first. All right, okay. So this is from the first marbling pour. So if I can talk you through some of the comments. Yes, absolutely. So people were really loving the, or the yellow that you had on top of this. Oh, really? Yeah, and I know you said that you were kind of like mm, regretting that choice, but um, yeah, everyone really loved the yellow. They thought that the, both these paintings were very groovy, like Austin Power vibes. Yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, I really loved it. I loved your piece. I thought it was very good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I absolutely love this piece. I think it's amazing. I love that marbling technique so much. Yeah, me too. I think you're going to be seeing that an awful lot from me, whereas this guy loves his wrecked yeah. rings. I'm really, I'm loving this marble. So I used my marble a lot more on yes, my piece. You did. And I definitely created a lot more lines. So this was my piece. Um, as you can see, definitely got a lot more of the kind of mixing of the colors together on this one. Um, and I really love that. You know, I love how the marble tracks through the paint yeah. and then kind of creates those really wonderful lines that you get when you kind of wreck a ring. I know. I really, I, I love this technique. Yeah, me too. And um, I love that you called it the pinball technique I did. yesterday. I'm just yes. going to get my coffee as we, as we call <laughs> this one. We're filming early in the morning this morning, so we both have our <clears throat> cups of gin. I need to wet my on. whistle. Yeah, um, listen, be art in art. Um, reinvigorated the interest in this technique. There are yes. other artists out there that say that this has been around for a very long time, and we sure that mm -hmm. we are very sure that there is, uh, that it has been. Um, but what B.R. Turner hasn't done is call this a specific pour. So I'm going to call this, for me specifically, the pinball technique. I like that. I yeah, like, I like and that. it was inspired by one of you lovely subscribers who mentioned it in the comments, and I, I love it because it is you're kind of pinging around the canvas. Yeah, it's not a steel ball; it's a marble, but it could be a steel ball. So to me, it yeah. does look like a pinball machine. Yeah, ball bearing, absolutely. Yeah, it's a pinball yeah. technique for sure. All right, Jeremy, show them the results from today's pour. Okay. Ew. Yes. A rectoring. This rectoring. I love these colors, you guys. I really do. I think this came out really pretty. Um, I love that the pops of that blue in here. Right. And um, I'm loving these greens. What's yeah. really interesting to me about your wrecked ring is even though you're layering colors differently, you're pouring them onto the canvas differently, yes. and you wreck it differently, you always seem to get a similar composition, which yeah. is this really wonderful kind of like ghost-like kind of middle, and then all these wonderful like rings around mm. it. Um, so yeah, I think I love your wrecked Thank rings. You. I think Thank they're you. very cool. One thing that we have noticed here in Texas specifically is we need to over torch yeah. our paintings yeah. because for some reason we're getting a lot of bubbles, yeah. pock marks. Pock marks. The reason why you torch your paintings is so that you don't have those little pinholes as it dries. Now I love my second marble. 
uh, or sorry, pinball, pinball technique. Um, what I really love about this one, this is where I did the split color base, oh, yeah. is I really love the black and the white, mm -hmm. how they're next to it, this like tuxedo pattern that you get, like from the ball tracking through both colors. Um, there is a lot of experimentation that you can do with this one with base colors, top colors, you know, all sorts yeah. of different sized balls. Gaffar, Gaffar, thank you for having fun with us, as, by the way, in our, our, both our title yes. and in our last episode, because it yes. was all nothing but good fun. Exactly. But yeah, I really love that marbling technique. I am not stopping with this one, I'm afraid. You will see a lot more of these from me, because <laughs> I'm really, really all about this right now. He loves the pinball technique, like I love the wrecked ring. Exactly. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. So that you're going to see an awful lot more on the channel. But you're going to see some very interesting pours coming up, some big canvases coming up. Um, within the next few weeks. Why is that, sir? What's going to happen next Sunday? Next Sunday? Yeah. Um, well, next Sunday, actually, we have a wonderful collaboration that's coming up with Canela. Uh -huh, as you've seen in yes, our intro, the yes. Go Big or Go, go Big home. or Go Home. So that's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, can't wait for that. 27 canvases. 27 canvases. At, when I first heard that, I, my jaw hit the ground and I was like, how is that even possible? How is that going to happen? Well, well, You'll find out. You're going to have to wait and see. Uh -huh. It's yes. going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Yes, totally. So, all right. I think that that kind of wraps up everything. Can I get back um, to my coffee? Yes, I know. Me too. I'm like, oh, mm. this morning coffee is so good, you oh, guys. It should be a Bloody Mary, I guess, really. Oh, a Bloody Mary would be amazing right now. But, right. But yes, yeah, so it's it's a, it's our nice morning cup of coffee. Um, but thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here with thank us. You. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Right. Um, and can I tell them that they will have already have seen Amina in the Sunday train? Yes. Next up, please go and head over to Gina De Luca. Yes. After Gina, we've got the wonderful Sarah Mack. Yeah. And then on, on her one o'clock live, as always, you've got fantastic Fiona. Yay. So it's another day of pouring premieres for you guys this morning. Yeah. If you haven't seen any one of these other pours, please go back and check them out. Yeah. Because uh, it really helps our channels. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thanks again, guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you at the next premiere. Have a great Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye. So there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to, and that's to our Patreons. Patreons. Uh, or, as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now, the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So, at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes videos. What? You might get up the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, at a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. Yeah. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases yes. to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Salonki, aka Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, AKA Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. Yes. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.